Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Hello everyone. Today I need to talk about something that has completely taken over a really good chunk of my life in the last couple of weeks. And that is the selection. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, my name is Danny. Hello and welcome. If you are not new to my channel and you have been here before, you know that I'm a little weird and that I get really excited about things. And today I was going to do a tag video and I could not think about anything else to do other than to talk about the selection. Now, I have read three of the selection books. Um, the first one, which is the selection, uh, then the elite, and then the one. Now, I don't want to put any spoilers in this uh, brief review, and I don't want to take a lot of your time either, because I want you to stop watching this video, of course, when you're done, and go and read these books, because they're so good. I... Okay, so I heard about these books originally, you know, sprinkled through booktube. Um, they're, they're YA books, um, which there's nothing wrong with that, people. YA is great um, if you're in the mood for it or if you're a young adult. <laughs> um, but I had seen the covers a couple of times. I had seen people talk about them a couple of times. And then most specifically, I saw on a, um, like a 12-hour readathon um, for, I think it's Chloe Reed's books, and I'll link her description below. And then most recently, while I was listening to like the second book, uh, Aspasia from Asparagus is Reading, which her channel is really great too, so check her out. And she had the perfect description of these books, and it was just like, they're not something to write home about. They're not, you know, the spectacular literary force that is going to change the world. They're just so good. They're just good. They're just, just read them. They're just, they're so good. They're, you can't stop. And they're, and there's no, they're not groundbreaking. They're just so pleasurable. And they just make you feel good. <laughs> so read them. <laughs> um, so I really liked her, her um, expression of those because they were, it was so, and she was just so like, <laughs> matter of fact about it. I loved it. So check her channel out too. I'll link her um, in the description below. But so anyways, I decided one day, you know, I was running through my Hoopla account, which is my free account from my library, and I saw that the selection was on there as an audiobook, and I said, you know, I have some time. I'll go ahead and listen to this. I just want something to kind of, you know, get through the day um, as I drive back and forth from work. And oh my gosh, <laughs> I was sucked into this book. So um, the selection, the first book, it's about a girl, America Singer, and it's kind of a dystopian um, book, kind of meaning it is. And it is about a world that is a renewed um, sense of America, I guess, but it's called Ilya. So it's it's been through um, some wars, and it now is a new country. Uh, and they have a monarchy now, and the way that the monarchy uh, finds um, its new line, um, so to speak, is if, it, if there is a prince, um, the prince sets up this selection, uh, which is where 35 women between the ages, I think, of 16 to 21 come to the castle and try to be picked as the new princess. So it is literally The Bachelor, uh, but you become a princess at the end. There are no roses, of course, and I think I've kind of mentioned this in a wrap-up video, but now that I've gotten into the second and third book, which, again, I don't want to give any spoilers, but the sheer fact of I could not stop listening to these books. So I finished the first one, and as you saw in my wrap-up, when I went to download the second, which is called The Elite, it was not on the hoopla. I about lost my 
S-H-I-T, and was like, what is happening? They had every single other of the collection, the one, the air, the crown, which are the two um, extras, which I'll talk about in a little bit later, not extras, but the next two. And then they had all these like mini um, like short stories, except they didn't have the second one. So I'm like, well, great. And then my library is still on curbside pickup. So I was like, do I, you know, email them and ask them if they have it? And then, you know, and I just was like, nope. I gotta move on to other things. Well, one night I'm just blah, 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 going through my hoopla and in recommended, there it is, the Elite. Holy monkeys. I was so excited. I immediately started listening to it. I got it done in like two days. I could not stop listening to it. I had it like ramped up to like 1.75 speed because I was like, couldn't get enough. And I can tell you out of the three books, the second one is by far my favorite. It was so like jam packed with actual like material of value. Um, it brought me more towards that like, oh, something's actually happening. It's not just, oh, pick me, pick me. But there's actual substance in the second one more than the, th the first one. But again, these aren't groundbreaking books. These aren't books that you're like, hmm, hmm. No, these are books like you're like, hmm, ooh, Maxim, ooh, ooh. They're just so good. And then, of course, the third one, immediately when I stopped listening to the second one, I downloaded the third one and literally finished it in one day because I couldn't stop listening like I literally would fall asleep and I would have to go back to a bookmarked spot and like sit up straight so I could listen to the full book and it was so good and the thing is I told you guys I cheated I like totally went to Goodreads and read the synopses because I didn't like I couldn't help myself I was like strung out on the fact that I was gonna miss out on these books but even even though I knew how it was going to end, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, how is this gonna work? How is it gonna work? How is it gonna work? Now, again, these aren't groundbreaking books. They're not achieving any goals in the mainstream, whatever. But damn, they're good. I enjoyed them so much. I really, truly did. And my biggest thing that I would say is take a chance. If you're looking for something that's just simply fun and easy to listen to and is just a good story, listen to the selection. It is so good. Also, I have heard a lot of things about the next two, which are um, the Air and the Crown. And I'm not going to tell you what they're about because, of course, there'll be a spoiler. But I've heard a lot of people say to just forget about those two, to not read those two. They don't really, they're not they're really all that great. So what is your opinion? In the comments below, tell me, should I continue forward on books four and five, or should I just kind of stop where I'm at? There are also some short stories that I'm kind of interested in um, that go along. They're companions to the selection. Should I read those? Tell me, if you're an avid selection, Kira Cass, uh, reader should I continue on in this series or should I just stop where I'm at and should I read the companions now a couple things that I also wanted to point out there were a few things that I was not upset or annoyed by but more so kind of confused as to why they weren't actually addressed in the book for instance uh, and this isn't a spoiler but there is or are rebels in the book and they are throughout all three. For those of you who have read all three, do you feel like that was really resolved? Do you feel like that whole piece of the book was developed properly? Do you feel like you got enough of what they were after or what they were looking to accomplish or if they accomplished what they were going after or if they would? And maybe that's explained in the last two and I just need to continue in the series. But that was one thing that in the book where I was kind of like, 
Hmm. I don't really see how that was resolved. Like, it was kind of like a loose end for me. So that was my only one uh, thing. I'm still giving all of these books a five because they wholeheartedly entertained me for a good chunk of the last couple weeks. Like, I literally stopped reading all of my other books that I actually have planned and just listen to these. And I, I listened to them on audio and they were wonderful. Um, so yeah. So what have you thought? Have you read the selection series? Should I continue forward on books four and five and the companions? Do you, do you feel like there are any loose ends or are you like Danny, you're, you're, it's there just fives and just shut up about it. So that's all I have for you today. I really just wanted to, to let you know how much I love those books. Um, they're really great. I, uh, they're just so good. You know, really just books that if you just want to sit down and enjoy a good book that is just, you know, solid, there's not anything that you really have to worry yourself about. Oh, they're really good. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you're reading something great yourself, or maybe you're going to pick up one of the selection books. Um, but uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and make sure you are subscribed so you can see all of my content as I bring it on through. So until next time, guys, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye!